Hello, everyone. Welcome to a new week. So um, I hope you had a lovely break. We're going to come back and finish our A4 project. Please refer to this to the TSR sent prior, discussed before, and sent by email. If you didn't receive it by email, send me an email requesting for it. And then in, in addition to that, if you can, if you don't, if you did it and you forgot and you heard this later on, please refer to the one sent on LMS. They are exactly the same. We will not be presenting two different TSRs. So after we're done with this, we're going to review the plot structure, um, just to make sure that all of you have a very good understanding of what the plot structure is. And we're going to reflect it orally on all the myths, although we're not going to tell you precisely what to mention in each and every phase. We're going to take the example of the comprehension text in the Savas book so that we make sure that you have an understanding of what is meant by the exposition or what do we mean when we say the turning point or the climax. Uh, and when asked us on spot, you have a very well-developed response. And we're going to begin with the presentations in our third lesson. So that means we're going to begin on Tuesday. So use your understanding of both myths to present myths to present an effective comparative PowerPoint. Do not forget to mention similarities. I need to find transitions such as, whereas, on the other hand, uh, similarly, okay? Make sure you use these transitions. After we're done with the presentations, we are going to begin the writing phase. So we're going to discuss the structure briefly of the compare and contrast essay because it's not a very easy essay and it is considered a literary analysis essay. Ms. Dima and I have proposed the idea of dividing the, the writing assessment into multiple classes, multiple formatives, uh, and a second draft because we have the capability and time for this unit. Okay. Uh, we're going to have a, a guided writing, so we're going to write an example on the board and discuss the elements of the introduction and what must be mentioned in your introduction to ensure that you have an, a very good understanding of the introduction. Just to make sure that you do, I'm just going to mention them briefly. The introduction must include the following. One, a hook in order to grab the reader's attention. You are not allowed to ask questions such as, have you ever, did you know? No, yes and no questions. Then you must introduce both texts. So text A, a brief summary of it, and text B, a brief summary of it. And finally, the thesis statement must indicate both similarities and differences between these texts. What are they? You need to decide based on the formative task. If you have any questions uh, uh, regarding the sample that, is that will be written on the board or anything regarding anything that I've mentioned right now, please, Send me an email. It's it's you should always come prepared. This video will give you a, a hint on what we're going to discuss regarding the introduction.